I think the Rayleigh's, man. Honestly, the worst place you can work at. I think Walmart's better than Rayleigh's. Just being oh. realistic, because the pay here is slavery. I haven't stepped foot in this place since I quit three years ago. It's gonna be so awkward going into my manager and be like, yo, can I get my resignation papers? I need it so I can get more money. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, gonna man. be so awkward. My, my, my university's asking for it. I don't know why, but let's just go. Oh my God, guys. I, I swore to myself that I would never come back, but uh, anyways, honestly, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Guys, this is where I used to spend all my hours. All my hours. You guys, I need to get some money. So the main re another reason we're here, we just need to buy something. Ooh, yeah, you can buy us something. Yeah. Shout out to you, my guy. So, yeah, what are you getting us? You guys want a turkey? I'll get you a turkey. I want three turkeys. I'll get you three turkeys. Cool, cool. Check out Starbucks. They got their own aisle here at Rayleigh's. That's crazy. Dang. How much did they pay for this? <laughs> oh. Surprisingly, that was not awkward at all, especially for not being here for like two or three years. That's, honestly, it's like a sense of relief. Finally, finally just got in here and just owned up to it and just like whatever. I don't know why. Like for some reason, like ever since I quit this place, I told myself I'll never step foot back in here. I guess that's just how much I hated the place. So uh, we're just waiting on him to get here. Once he gets here, uh, we'll try to offer him a price. So basically his price was $17.50, which is already a great deal for the car. But you guys know we can't we can't take it at the price he gives us. We have to negotiate. So he said 14 is my absolute lowest. So uh, we said sure. Um, we'll consider 14. We gotta check it out. I don't think we're gonna lowball him because it is a good car and you know it, it's, it doesn't even much work. So I think we're gonna say 13 end of the day and uh, hopefully we can get it for that price. It's only 100 bucks less, but it's a good car. As long as you guys, as long as we got the pink and the tags are up to date, we're getting it. Guys, right, so we just agreed on a thousand. We think we accidentally only gave him 900. So we're trying to find him because we want to give him his full amount. I think he miscounted and we miscounted. I don't know what happened. We may have gave him a thousand, but we don't think we gave him a thousand. So we're just gonna go ahead and make sure. We gave him a thousand dollars for the car because that's how much we paid for it. No lights on the dash, guys. Hopefully, we can catch him before it's too late. He only gave you nine hundred, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No worries. I just count. No worries, bro. All right, dude. Thank you. No worries. Take it easy. Appreciate it. Let's just head home and check out what's going on with this car. All right, guys. She made it home. No issues. AC. Everything. No lights on the dash. This thing's actually a trooper. So. Um, little things that I've noticed while I was driving. Didn't have the little thing here. Didn't have it over there. Uh, what else? This door panel doesn't look the greatest. This steering wheel could use some work. This trim looks like it's been repainted. So you know your boys gonna have to sand this and wrap it or something because this looks disgusting. Steering wheel's gotta go. Like what is going on there? But yeah, that's just some of the few issues. If you guys look at the rear window, look at that. Look what? I've never seen that. That's dope. So that just goes up and down, and then each window has its own little sunshade. So. That's kind of cool. I've never had a BMW with that. Uh, this car also comes with the sports seats, obviously, heated seats and the uh, sports steering wheel. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. We put in the new airbag from the recall, so it makes the car feel a little bit better. But um, yeah, there's a lot of issues. This mirror, look what happens when I click the button to like close it. So it works good this way. As soon as I click it the other way, this thing doesn't know when to stop. <laughs> it, just, it just keeps going. How was it? Bro, it's good, no it's problem. Good. There's, look at this Ooh. thing, not a single light. Solid as Drove block. solid. You guys trying to go around the block real quick? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. I bet you the odds. I think I should let the odd drive. Sports seats. Come here, the odd. <laughs> Get in the car, big boy. Oh, man, this thing's gonna need oh, some work. I wanna change the valve cover gasket, do an oil change so bad. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it as I soon as we can. Do that so it's my sister's birthday today, guys. Oh, man, and we gotta replace this. It's my sister's birthday today, guys, so. Oh, dang. To celebrate, y'all bought a car. <laughs> <laughs> for himself <laughs> so yeah basically uh, we can't work on it today but at least we'll enjoy it because it's it's a running car unlike a lot of cars that we buy so uh, uh yeah and also dude look it comes with the spare key as well it has the, the valet key oh i don't think it has the actual key in it i though. think it'll still work hold on turn off the car turn and try to start it with that i don't know if it'll work Bro, i miss the e-chassis so much doesn't it look good i it's so it, nice it looks like, good <laughs> Daily question mark? 226,000 Should we ride this thing? Like this. Should we ride this thing till it hits the ground? Highest mileage in Let's go. Let's do it. Let's just let's make it our daily question start. mark. Let's do it. You want to know the coolest thing? We even came with a man. Click that button right there in the middle. The middle one. Right what there. Look at the back window. Oh! oh dude! <laughs> I've never even seen 
me neither, dude. It's so sick, dude. It's got rear sunshades. Oh, man. I'm happy with this. Right? It's a good daily. What else do you want in life? Okay, I mean, an M4. <laughs> Oh man, what's going on here? He said he did a complete um, cooling rehaul. So he did the radiator, all the hoses, the water pump. So that's all major things that go on a 325. Other than that, I don't think there is any major things that go on other than valve cover gaskets and oil filter housing gaskets, which we know how to do. So we'll take care of all the maintenance on this car. But yeah, it might honestly be a car that we just do a whole bunch of mods and keep it on the channel for you guys. It's a really nice daily. Like, at least till the Ock can figure out his, till he gets his dream car. Yeah, I'm I mean? keeping this. Right? It's good, right? It's good. Man. It's solid. It's solid. <laughs> what else do you want in line? Okay, calm down. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new nor new look. So basically, I'm gonna get my hair cut today, but I went ahead and shaved my beard. But that's not the topic of the video, do not worry. So today, we're actually gonna be working on the new baby, the new little project my brother picked up. Um, and I'm gonna be showing him how to do a lot of the things here because uh, yeah, you know why not so you can actually give me a helping hand You know what I'm saying? So we actually when we bought the car didn't have a check engine light, right? Yeah, it was service service engine But didn't have any lights. Exactly. had nothing. When we bought the car I had nothing and then we started driving it home Perfectly fine. We drove it the next day to school on the way back from school a check engine light came up and it turns out It was a van off solenoid so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take them out, we're gonna go ahead and clean them up, and hopefully that would fix our issue. So I don't know if y'all know, the Van Off solenoids are like right here and down there, so to get to them, we're just gonna remove this little guy. That's all we gotta remove. Two solenoids are right there, there's one there, and there's one directly below it. So my brother's just gonna go ahead and wipe it all because it's super dirty, and then we'll go ahead and take out, there's only like, I think a 10 mil holding each one, pull it out, and then disconnect the cable. You guys will see real quick. two solenoids. My brother just went ahead and dried them off. Uh, so at this point, we're just gonna go use some engine degreaser and just clean them out and then put them back in. There's not really much to it. Uh, it's pretty easy to clean these guys. You just spray with the engine degreaser, wipe it down, and then try to make sure it's 100% dry and then put it back in. So uh, let's just get to it. Right, guys two the two solenoids are back in uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the shield back on it because I don't want to make a mess if I drop hella oil um, but yeah because I always miss but I actually do have a funnel I do have a funnel so I sh that shouldn't be an issue anymore look at my hands looking all clean and stuff it was super dirty eh, I still need to wash it just a little bit more anyways um, let's go ahead and throw on the engine cover I appreciate you my guy the good thing about these ones guys the, the screws don't actually function these are just for looks you literally put it over and you snap it into place Careful for that hose right there. You gotta kind of finesse it. Guys, yeah, so this is the first car we've ever had that has sports suspension. So the car is slightly lower than normal E90. So uh, our floor jack will not clear. So we're gonna have to use some blocks, put it on both sides, drive it onto it. So I guess now is a good way to test, see how the solenoids are performing. I'm pretty sure when he starts up the car, it's gonna be bogging just a little bit because we did take it out and put it back in, but it should readjust quite quickly. Um, so, uh, yes, well, yeah, you can set up the box right now. Alright guys, while the oil is draining, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take this out. You could loosen it before you have to drain your oil, but uh, that's whatever. We're just gonna go ahead and do this right now. And I'm not that strong. Let's go ahead and get the tool for it. Alright guys, now that we have the drain plug hooked up and everything, so that, well, now we're done with the bottom of the car. All we gotta do now, we got the new filter and everything, that's all ready to go. All right, guys, I was just taking it out of the garage real quick. Dang, those tires are brain spanking new. 
Looking good. The sides, okay. Guys, this guy did a lot of janky stuff. I ain't gonna lie. He put screws on each side of the side screw because all the clips broke. He did some janky stuff in the trunk. He did some janky things in the front. We'll show you guys all that down the road when we actually start getting into that. All right, guys, time to test how the idle is on this thing. So, check engine light's still there, I have to clear. But as you guys can see by the RPMs, it's no longer jumping. It was jumping when that check engine light came on. So that's because of the solenoids. Either because the solenoids are like spark plugs or something like that. But the, the check engine might not honestly go on its own, but we'll go ahead and just drive it around. All right, here goes nothing. Yeah, we need some air up in here. Dude, you want to fix your mirror? Yeah, I got you, don't worry. You need some vision? I got you. How's she driving now? Pretty smooth. Oh, that's what's up, that's what's up. Honestly, like, me and my brother cannot believe how much miles this thing has. Like, it does not, it feels like it only has like 100,000 miles. This thing feels solid. I wish we had the car lead though, so we could just reset it and like- I know, that. we need to find that. Yeah. So we can reset it. I mean, it honestly, might just go on its own. And then just plug in Carly. Hey, Carly, if you guys want to sponsor this video, <laughs> if you guys want your link down in the description below. <laughs> honestly. All right, guys, oh, I gotta sit down so we can talk. I don't know if you guys know, I've been working on something with a couple other companies. We're trying to make this little crate for you guys. Um, the crate will officially launch when I finish my brother's car because the crate's meant for like E90 people, E92 people. So that's another reason why we picked up an E90 for those of you guys who are wondering. This is most likely one of our last E90 builds on the channel. So if you guys love E90s, make sure to uh, pretty much stay tuned throughout this build. We're pretty much gonna try to restore it, try to make it as good as possible, try to get everything to function properly uh, before we actually end up selling it. Or we might even just keep it as a daily because it's high mileage, no one else wants it, but it's been really maintained very well. So it may even just be our daily because you know, why not? So yeah, we got this car for the crate. I don't wanna get in too depth about what the crate is and what's inside of it, but let's just say it's a crate for the E90 chassis. It's pretty dope. It's for like the E92, E93, E90, whatever. This is all the E90s. It's so badass, but anyways, that's the reason we picked up another E90. If you guys are excited to see how this one turns out and the wrap, we're gonna end up wrapping this thing, make sure to smash that like button. But yeah, without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Y'all love, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know, you're all.